Hey there, welcome to another Edit Video Faster tutorial. My name is Josh Short, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you the difference between a 3D warp and a resize. You're gonna reach a point, um, if you're an editor, where you're gonna wanna take a clip and make it smaller and move it around the screen, more than likely. I'm just assuming I've had to do this a million times. And the first time you do that, you're going to be going through the effect palette, which we get to by going um, Command or Control 8. And we're going to go through all these folders. We're going to hit Image. And we're going to find Resize. And we're going to apply that to our clip. So let's, uh, let me show you in the timeline. Let me go back. So I have this uh, clip of uh, a man and woman at a laptop, and I'm going to want to make them smaller and move them off to the side or something to that effect. And uh, so we apply the resize to the clip, and underneath it we have our background. And then we opened up the effect editor. Cool, okay, they're scaling position, that's perfect. So I'm just going to check this little box to the, uh, the X and the Y scale proportionally. And when I do this... I don't see the background. So what's happening when you use resize? Resize is affecting everything below that track. So that track and below. So if I applied this to the track, uh, to the clip on V2, it's going to resize what's on V1 also. That's not what we want. We want to use a 3D warp. So we go to the blend folder in the effect palette. We grab 3D warp and we apply that to our clip. Open up your effect editor again. And now when we hit the when we do the scale, we see the background below it. And we can move it off to the side, up down, wherever we want. And there's a ton like there's so much you can do with 3D warp. It's uh I mean there's really only four or five different effects that you absolutely need to know, and um, those will do essentially 90% of what all the other effects can do in Media Composer. And 3D Warp is one of those, if that's not the number one effect to know. So within 3D Warp, there's so much we can do. Um, like there's crop, we can uh, you know trim part of the video, and uh, we can give it a border. I mean, there, there's just so much we can do with 3D Warp, and uh, I promise I'll go into uh, many more aspects of 3D Warp in future tutorials if you guys want to see that, and I think you probably do. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think uh, about 3D Warp. If you didn't know uh, you could do this with 3D Warp, uh, that would be awesome. Like this video if you can. I'm trying to keep this uh, video pretty short for you. Um, so one last thing, make sure go check out my website, editvideofaster.com. I come out with a new post over there every week about video editing and life as an editor. Uh, this week was the final conclusion of a series that I'm doing called Over the Editor's Shoulder, where I'm tracking my daily progress through a freelance project. And one very last thing, uh, another editor and I, we started a podcast recently. We are on episode six. is called the Command Edit Podcast. I'd love for you guys to go check that out. That's commandeditpodcast.com. And you can go to the iTunes store, search that, um, and check us out over there. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Um, I'll see you over my website. Hopefully, you'll go listen to the Command Edit Podcast. And uh, I'll see you next week.